morning YouTubies. All right, today I'm going to do something totally different than normal. And hopefully this doesn't turn out to be a fail. Hopefully it turns out good. Um, I'm going to attempt to make a little vial of perfume. We can do it. <laughs> I already have, um, I didn't have any uh, the oils and, I mean, not the, um, yeah, the, like, coconut oil or anything like that handy. So, I'm going to use Aquaphor. I was going to use Vaseline, but I didn't, couldn't find my Vaseline, so I'm going to use Aquaphor because it's a clear, um, they call it. I don't know what you would call it even. So I'm going to use that as my, I could say base. I don't know. And I got my essential oils ready. I found a lovely little recipe that I'm wanting to try. It's called, the perfume is called Bohemian Wildflower. So I'm hoping this is going to smell good. Um, the only thing is, well, it calls for five drops of bergamot, two drops of jasmine, one drop of patchouli, and one drop of myrrh. But I don't have the myrrh, so I looked online and see what I could use in replace in place of myrrh. And it says I could use frankincense. It had a couple other, like two other options also, but I don't have them in my um, kit here. But I do have frankincense. So... I hope this turns out good. So, I like, I usually like, um, actually I like all kinds of, I don't really have a signature scent, like, oftentimes they say for you, it's good for you to have. I don't have a, I, I love most scents, just like I love most foods. <laughs> There, now, there is some scents I don't like as far as essential oils. I'm not talking about skunk smells and garbage and stuff like that. That's a whole different level of smells. <clears throat> but um, as far as essential oils, I don't think there's really any scents that I don't like. I think I like them all. That I've smelled so far, I should say. So, anyway, I'm going to get into this, and hopefully this turns out good. If not, then hey, I'll try it again another time with the actual coconut oil or... Was it Jehopa oil? You know, th those types of oils that you would normally use, or even vodka or something like that. So, anyway. Okay. Five drops of bergamot. How you guys doing? Good, I hope. Man, I hope this turns out good. I've never actually made a perfume before, so I'm a little nervous. Mmm, that smells good. The bergamot. Okay, five drops. Oh, this might take a while. There's one at the opening. It hasn't came out yet. Patience is a virtue, right? <clears throat> one. Come on, give me another. Really? Come on. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be this tedious. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going for a six. Okay, we got six in there. Let me go ahead and get no, one more. Since now it's coming out decent, or was. Maybe I have it tilted just right. Seven, okay. Have a little extra in there. Extra for good measure. Now 
Okay. It's supposed to be two drops of jasmine. I'll probably go for four. <laughs> since I've already messed things up on that. Ooh. Jasmine smells good. Makes me think of honeybees. I just seen some honeybees while ago. Oh. I actually stood there and watched them for a little while. Come on. One. Come on. gets started going and it starts really coming out comes out slow at first doesn't want to come out and then all of a sudden boom okay didn't get the lid on there very good what about you guys have you ever made homemade perfume and what was your experiences with it did it turn out whatever you made did it turn out good do you make them quite often or you know, rarely. Okay, he says one drop of patchouli, but oh, I know a lot of people don't like the smell of patchouli, but I kind of like it. It's kind of me. It's kind of an earthy smell. My, I know it sounds weird. A grown woman having a teddy bear. To snuggle with occasionally. I snuggle with it when I don't feel good or when I'm like really depressed. It's one of those hot and cold teddy bears. It's got like a little pack in it that you can put in the freezer. So it's a it keeps the belly of the teddy bear cold and helps you know soothe you. Or it has a little also um I don't know if it's a bean or rice bag that you can pop in the microwave. So you have a warm teddy bear to help soothe you. I don't usually use those, but I know this sounds weird, but I keep little cotton balls of in it with patchouli oil on it. And I call my little teddy bear Mr. Patchouli. So, because to me, patchouli is earthy and to me it's comforting. So it's just me. Alright, you're going to be another one that's going to come out easily? Huh? Really? Really? <sighs> What's with y'all? Come on! Ah, there you go. Okay, we'll go for three. And sandal, or frankincense, I mean. So I didn't have the myrrh. Ooh. Frankincense smells good. Okay, three. If I can get the lids on, right? It might help. There. If this turns out good, then I might want to 
attempt to make more. I've wanted to make um, perfumes for years. But never got around to it because I'm the queen of procrastination. Okay, I'm <laughs> might be easier if I had something better to stir this with. I don't know. Might have been easier if I had it like in a bowl to mix it up too. I don't know. But we're going to wing it. We're going to see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out okay. Hopefully it turns out smelling good. I went for the boho, probably because it's the one I had the most ingredients of, or, you know, available. But also because I like boho stuff. So, the fact that it had the word boho. <laughs> okay, I think we... Just about got it. I don't know if I can get all the stuff off. Okay. Oh. It smells good, but it's got like a light smell. I probably could have added, I probably could have made it a little bit stronger. I might actually, in a minute here, hang on. I think I will. I want it stronger. It's, it smells good, but it's a very light smell. Like almost too light. Like I almost couldn't smell it. Okay. Come on, I ain't got all day. I see you peeking out. A little droplet, I see it peeking out. <laughs> it's like, come on! Two. It wasn't really, it was, wasn't really a two, it was a, like a half. Basically, I'm going to kind of double of what I did previously. See if I can get a stronger smell. Because I want it a little bit more. A little bit more. Basically. Come on. It's taken forever. I wasn't expecting it to actually take this long. <laughs> it's like, what's the best way to hold these to get it to come out faster? There you are.
Okay. Jasmine. Pitchholy. Frank. Frankincense. Spilled part of my oils over the edge of the little container. Crap. Ola. Crap, crap, crap. That was not good. I'm irritated at myself. I think it's still going to be okay, though. Oh. This smells better. I like that. Okay. Still irritate myself for spilling it over the edge, but I think it'll be just fine. So, hmm. I like, I like, I like. Okay. And there we have it. Can you tell purple's my favorite color? <laughs> okay. So get those put back in there. I love essential oils. Oh, they smell so good and so relaxing. Much, much stress as I have, I need to be relaxed. Trust me. So, anywho, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you ever, you know, made any perfumes. How did you do it? Did you use coconut oil, jasmine oil? I don't even know what all the other oils are without looking i've seen them i just can't remember them by name right now um let me know if you've tried making it a solid perfume with um like beeswax and i'm not sure what else you beeswax and something i can't remember what the other stuff is that you add with or if you made done like me and made a semi-solid <laughs> so not really a solid but it's more of a cream um perfume so yeah let me know what you think and what you guys have experienced yourself so 
I'm going to catch you guys again later. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. And I'll catch you again later. Bye-bye.